Mm. Oh, this next article. So just I want y'all to be very vigilant, just like the scripture commands us to do. Watch and pray because they will use any isolated incident to push their agenda. I want you to watch this. Woman accused of Durham murder of son. Three admits hitting him with a cane. Read that. Christina Robinson tells court she punished her son hours before he died, saying she was following the teachings of the Bible. I hope y'all see that. I hope y'all see that. I hope right. y'all can see that. Because they're already saying the Bible's hate speech. Right. Mm. Now they're saying somebody, somebody, nah, nah, nah. Mm. we're going to clear that up tonight. I'll tell That's you right. that. That's Let's right. read some more of this article. A mother who denies murdering her three-year-old son has admitted hitting him with a garden cane mm. ou hours Damn. before he collapsed and died. Wait a minute. Saying she was following the teachings of the Bible. So the where cow. in the Bible does it say to beat your child with a garden cane? Yeah, yeah, it's it's, 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 it's it not in there. It ain't in there. Let's go back. Next paragraph. Watch this, y'all. Christina Robinson, who is a follower of the Black Hebrew Israelite movement, see this? Right. Go ahead. Come on, had nah, been nah. watching a YouTube video which quoted scripture promoting the rod for correction when her toddler son Dewalanayo was messing about with his food she decided to punish him with a bamboo cane from the garage that she used for plants so because of this stupidity i want y'all to understand give me first as 572 real quick because we're going to get into it and we're going to go uh, we're going to show you according to the scriptures what that's talking about right okay but first give me first ezra's 5 and 22 watch this the book of first ezra's chapter 5 and verse 22 not se uh 5 and 72 my apologies yes sir the book of first Ezra, chapter five and verse 72. Mm -hmm. But the heathen of the land, the heathen of the land, that's the Gentiles, that's the other nations. Remember, as Israel starting to rise, think about what Nero did. He blamed a fire on us so they could persecute us. Right. They're going to come with any and everything, brothers yes, and sisters. Right? All right. I just 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 don't be so simple. Yes, sir. Don't be so simple. Read it again. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But the heathen of the land lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judea. Come on. And holding them straight. Hindered their building. That's what they're going to try to do. Come on. And by their secret plots. And by their secret plots. Never, never underestimate the devil. Right. right. Okay. It says by their secret plots. Come on. And popular persuasions. Because what? You see a child like that die. He was murdered by that woman. But that don't mean the Bible did it. Right. You understand? Right. So they're trying to they're trying to uh, tug on the heartstrings of the people right. with a lie. Because that's what they do. That's right. Okay. Read that part again. By and popular persuasions mm -hmm. and commotions, they hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. Now, from there, give me Psalm sixty-four and four, and we're gonna take you. We're gonna walk you through how you should correct your children according to the Bible. Okay, watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter sixty-four and verse four, mm -hmm. that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly, do they shoot at him and fear not? Right. They shoot at us and they don't fear because they have no shame. That's how they get down as a people. All right, give me Deuteronomy 32 and 4. So we're going to talk about how you should bring up your children in this truth. According to the Bible, the Bible never told you to pick up a bamboo right. stick. All right, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 4. 46. What's 32, 46. Yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 46. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testif testify among you this day, mm -hmm. which ye shall command your children. Which ye should do what? Command your children. So we should teach our children the laws of God. That's, That's right. right. All right, this That's is what right. King, uh, King uh, Solomon was quoting, Proverbs 22 and 6. All right, y'all familiar with this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, watch this. The mm -hmm. book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. He shall not depart from it. Now, let's jump down to verse 15. Watch this. Verse 15. Mm -hmm. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Fo that foolishness is going into sin. Folly. Because remember, we're bringing our children up on the fundamentals of God's commandments. Right. Okay, read the verse again. 
Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, mm -hmm. but the rod of correction. But the what? Rod of correction. Come on. Shall drive it far from him. Shall drive it far from him. It's not saying pick up a little literal metal rod or a bamboo right. stick. That's not what, what it's wrong? saying. Right. What are you correcting him with? With the words of God. That's, That's right. right. That's what it's talking about. <laughs> You're correcting him with the words of God. Why? Give me foolishness, just in case there's some naysayers out there. Give me 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 13. Bring it up. We just showed you in Deuteronomy 32 and 46 and Proverbs 22 and 6 that we should bring our children up in the commandments of the Lord out of this Bible. And then it says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. What is the foolishness? Watch this. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 13. Come on. And Samuel said to Saul, mm -hmm. thou has done foolishly. Thou has done foolishly. Come on. Thou has not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God. Thou has not kept the commandments of the Lord thy God. That's what it means to do foolishly. Right. So in order to correct him, what do you correct him with? With the word of God. That's right. Give That's me the right. book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. It's as simple as that. You're going to learn today. It's as simple as that. We do not. The Bible does not condone child abuse. Right. We see what the devil's trying to do. That's right. what we see. But all you got to do is go what? Precept upon precept. Read it. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. Because remember, we're talking about correction, right? This is how you do the correction right here. Read it. All scripture uh -huh. is given by inspiration of God uh -huh. and is profitable for doctrine, mm -hmm. for reproof. For doctrine, for reproof, come on. For correction. For what? Correction. For correction. You know? For instruction. For instruction. In righteousness. In righteousness. Let's bring it out. I hope you understand that thing. <laughs> Give me Romans 13 just to show you. We, the Bible does not condone child abuse. That's right. I want you to read this. Romans 13 and 1. Watch this, y'all. The book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Hey, don't the higher powers say child abuse is a criminal offense? Right. right. So the Bible's telling us we should be subject to the higher powers. That's right. Hey, listen to that. Read. For there is no power but of God. There's no power but of God. So we understand it is the Lord that established these higher powers. Right. Okay. Is some more on that? Yes, sir. Read. The powers that be mm -hmm. are ordained of God. Right. The powers that be are ordained yes, of God. Yes. Read on. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power. So if you decide to break a law like child abuse and you resist the power that the Lord set up coming from the Bible, right. read. Resisteth the ordinance of God. So you are going against the Bible. Right. So saying that picking up a bamboo stick came from the Bible shows you're in direct opposition of the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Read. And they that resist shall receive themselves damnation and that's what she deserves because she did an that's act right. according to her own foolishness that's right give me second Ezra 225 the bible tells us how to raise our children that's right this is how you do it right here second Ezra chapter 2 verse 25 watch this the book of second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 25 come on nourish thy children do what nourish thy children the bible says to nourish your children right. not abuse them right it says nourish thy child come on oh thou good nurse though thou what good nurse the issue is a lot of our sisters don't know they don't have their damn mind these days mm -hmm. give me lamentations four and three you know black, black, this is a lot of our sisters they're not good nurses today i'm not talking about you repentance i'm talking about sisters like that right they're not good nurses. There it is. Read what you got. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, and verse 3. Uh-huh. Even the sea monster draw out the breast. Uh-huh. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel. The daughter of God's people has become what? Cruel. Has become cruel. There's more on that? Yes, sir. Read. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. Give me Job 39, 13 real quick. Read down to 16 for the sake of time. Come on. The book of Job, chapter 39 and verse 13. Uh-huh. Gavest thou the good, godly, goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich? Unto the ostrich, read. Which leaveth her eggs in the earth, uh -huh. and warmeth them in the dust. Come on. And forgetteth 
that the foot may crush them. That the foot may do what? <laughs> crush them. If you crush them, you're going to do what? Kill, Kill them. them. Right. That's what she is according to the Lord. Bible. But she's not following how the Bible says to treat your children. That's right. right. Read. Or that the wild beast may break them. Come on. She is hardened against her young ones mm -hmm. as though they were not hers. As though they were not hers. Damn. Who's going to put uh, pick up a bamboo stick and beat their child to death with it? Damn. Someone out of their mind. Someone right. who has a mind of a beast. That right. does this. You understand? Hey, right, from there, give me Titus 2. Okay? Then we're going to wrap this part up. Then we're going to continue. Give me Titus chapter 2. Start at 1 through and read through 5, please. The book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh-huh. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, mm -hmm. that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. Come on. The aged woman. And the aged woman, what? Likewise. Likewise. Come on. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Uh-huh. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Read. Not given to much wine. Uh-huh. Teachers of good things. Read. That they may teach the young women to be sober. Uh-huh. To love their husbands. To love their husbands? To love their children. To do what? Right. Love their children. To do what? Love their children to love their children that's, that's right. right that's what the bible says hey we're gonna we're gonna drop that no, just no. to show y'all these are some of the works that's of the right. devil right so y'all don't gotta y'all don't gotta think for what no the bible never said that right not one time but what they'll do they'll put that out there keep putting it out there so it'll stick eventually right but that's why we got to do it cast down these wicked imaginations with the word of god that's, that's right. right all right give me the next one the bible band okay watch this read that book bands are sweeping u.s schools a surprising new victim the bible see that come on when i was a teenager i read genesis for the first and only time I was quite, it, it was, it was quite the revelation. Excuse me. I would say with teenage zeal to anyone who would listen. Do you know about Lot? Do you know that his two daughters conspired to get him drunk? And Stop. All right. So they take things out of context. Think about who was right. on the earth at that time. We're not going to go through the whole breakdown. We got like five minutes. Right. <laughs> Give me the book of Second Ezra 14 and 21. Like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, there's nothing new under the sun. That's right. So they're making their push. As the world gets more wicked, they're making their push to take away the Bible, to take away the prophets. So we got to make our push too. That's right. This is war. That's right. This is but war. But it ain't carnal. It's right. spiritual. Right. right. All right. So we got to understand what we up against. Second Ezra 14 and 21. Go ahead. The book of Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 21. Come on. For thy law is burnt. It says thy law. The book of the law is what? The Bible. It said they burnt our book. Read. Therefore, no man knoweth the things that are done of thee. So at that time, the most I put the spirit on Ezra to rewrite the Bible during that time. Give me 1 Maccabees 1 and 56. Bring it out. All right. 1 Maccabees 1 and 56. Let me get there with you. Follow yes, along. Yes, sir. All right. Read that. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 56. Mm -hmm. And when they had written it in pieces the books of the law. Right. So you see here in the Greek captivity, they did the same thing. They destroyed our Bible. Read it again. And when they had written in pieces the book of the law. Uh -huh. When they found, they burnt them. With fire. Read. And whosoever was found with. Read it again. And wheresoever was found with any the book of the testament mm -hmm. or in any consent to the law. Read it again. Yes, sir. And who and wheresoever was found with any the book of the testament or if any consented to the law. The king's commandment was that they should put him to death. Hey, so family, we read in the Bible and it's coming to pass in real life. That's right. But we're going to be all right because right. the kingdom is for us. Let's get a right. right. round of applause for that thing right there. Oh, oh praise. praise.
imagine is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!